In part seven of our internet series, we'll be looking at building filtered views for the content we want to surface on pages. So these filtered views, just to remind you, will be based on the lookup list that you've built. So for example, departments, we'll be building a filtered view for each of these departments in the different apps. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, is just go to site contents. Let's go to our documents library. And of course, my documents library is called the brain. <laughs> and I'm going to go straight to settings from there. Now in settings, all my views are at the bottom of the page. So there you can see there's my views. In the previous video clip, we built grouped views. So now I want to build filtered views. So I'm going to go create a view. And the first um, department filtered view I'm going to build. And like I said, you might not completely understand where I'm going with this yet, but I promise you, you'll see when we start building the pages out, you'll, uh, you'll see how we're going to actually do this. So let's copy this from all documents. I'm going to call this finances. And um, again, this is the view that shows on the page, but for now, I'm not going to show all these other um, fields. I just want to show the title and the name because I'm going to use it on a web part uh, as a web part on a page. Sorting can be by name, but filtering is where it comes in. So I'm going to say only show items when department is equal to finances. I've copied this exactly from, um, from this list of mine. Remember, it's got to be exact match or it won't work. So I'm going to just say uh, copy it from finances. And then once I have a filtered view for finances, what should it group by? If I'm filtering by department, then of course I want to group by document type. Um, I can now also just change um, the number of groups it must show and the item limit also because there's nothing that frustrates me more than going next 30, next 30. So it's finances. Um, I'm going to filter it by department equal to finance and I'm going to group it by document types. Now this is where it gets really easy as once you've created the first view, you can just keep on creating the others by copying it from that view. So there's nothing in this view at the moment because I don't have finance documents, but I'm going to just go back to library settings scroll all the way down. I'm going to create a view. I'm going to copy it from finance. And this will be the human resources view. I just have to scroll down to where I've got my filter, human resources, and I'll say, okay. So that's how quickly it is to then just um, create all the filtered views that you require. We obviously have a, a document for um, human resources already, which is why human resources works. Now you're going to do that for all your um, departments you have in the documents library. And then I also need to um, go and do this for the FAQs. So let's just go to the FAQs. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to scroll down to where my views are. I'm going to create a view. For now, I'll just copy it from all items. This is going to be my finances view. I don't want it to show the department because I'm going to filter by the department. And um, so the filter will be when department is equal to finances. I won't group by anything because I don't have document types in the FAQs. So there we go. Um, let's just create another one. We're going to create the one for human resources as well. So let's go back to the list settings. Create a view, copy it from finances. This is human resources. And the only thing I need to do is to change the filter to human resources. So that's how easy it is to create your filtered views. Um, I do realize that you can on the page, if I go back to um, all items, it's very possible to straight from the page in the new um, um, modern libraries, I can put a filter in here. So I can say filter by. And uh, at the moment, I'm in human resources. So let's just navigate back to, well, of course, I'm only seeing human resources. So I could filter by um, human resources. And then um, because you filtered on the page, I can then actually um, save this view as. So remember that you can create filtered views straight from the modern page um, libraries. But uh, because I add extra um, settings and groupings, I normally create it in the list or library settings. So you have to go and create in your FAQs, create a view for each of these and the same as in your documents library. And then we'll catch up soon.